let's talk about plant reproduction with our bean plant. Alright guys, we're getting to the point in the plant's life cycle when we're starting to see fluorescence, otherwise known as, as flower buds. And from flower buds, bean pods emerge. Hopefully, we will get some beans from them. Pollination is crucial for plant reproduction and the production of fruits, seeds, and vegetables. Here's why it's so important. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from the male reproductive organs, anthers, to the female reproductive organs, stigmas, of flowers. This transfer is essential for the fertilization of plants, leading to the formation of seeds and fruits. Pollination allows for the mixing of genetic material between different plants. When pollen from one plant fertilizes the all ovals of another plant, it leads to gen genetic diversity in the offspring. This genetic diversity is vital for the survival of plant populations as it increases their ability to adapt to changing environmental conditions. Many of the fruits, vegetables, and nuts that we consume are a result of pollination. Pollinators such as bees, butterflies, birds, and bats play a crucial role in transferring pollen between flowers, ensuring the production of crops that con contribute to human diet. Pollination is not only essential for agricultural cr crops, but also for the reproduction of wild plants. Many ecosystems rely on pollinators for the reproduction of flowering plants, which form the foundation of food webs and provide habitat for and resources for other organisms. Pollinators are essential for the health and diversity of ecosystems. By facilitating plant reproduction, they support the gro growth of a diverse plant communities, in wi which, in turn, provide food and habitat for a wide range of animals, including insects, birds, and mammals. Overall, pollination is a vital ecological process that supports plant reproduction, genetic diversity, food production, ecosystem health, and biodiversity. Without pollinators, many plant species would struggle to reproduce, leading to significant ecological and agricultural consequences. One of the crucial parts of hydroponics is pollination. And with the plants being inside and we don't want the bugs in here, it makes it difficult. So here's some ways to pollinate your plant. One of the first and best ways to pollinate your plant is adding a fan. It helps remove the heat from their light source and it helps move the pollen around. In my opinion, fans like this are best because they're small size and they can easily clip onto surfaces and they're low noise. What is also awesome about this fan is that when it's clipped onto the plant's base, the vibration of the motor shakes the plant, releasing pollen with also the wind helping pollinate. That's awesome about the fan, but what are other ways to pollinate? <laughs> yeah, these guys. We don't want them in the house, so sometimes we have to be them. Let me show you how. Bonus tip. Sometimes just flicking the base of the plant really hard helps loosen out the pollen. We didn't really think this plant was gonna get pollinated. We were almost gonna give up. It was almost time for the compost pile. Dun, dun, dun! 
the other day when I was cleaning the bean plant, my hand hit something hard. I didn't know what it was. It startled me. At first, I thought it was a Pokemon, but then I realized it wasn't. It was a bean pod. The bean pod was so big, it was almost as big as my hand. <laughs> my gosh, what was that? Oh! This is the one that startled me, and we have, it's so huge, and we have three more. Look here. Look at that bean plant. And then the next one is huge. Look at that one. It looks just like the leaves, yeah. doesn't it? And look at that one. Oh, yeah. Here, put your head by it. And look at this, that one. It is huge. Yeah. Definitely pollination is helpful, right? Definitely. <laughs> I'm going to help you be the bee. So what are we doing, Nathan? We are flicking the flower with other flowers to get pollen into the other flowers and hopefully get beans. That is cool. And do you think it works? Yeah. So far, so good. We have four bean pods, and if we get at least one of them, challenge complete. Wait till next episode when we harvest one of the bean pods. See you later. Bye.